<laughs> we interrupt us to bring you us. <laughs> Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast, starring producer Jana. Hello. You're supposed to say something cool. Oh, What's yeah. the last thing you uh, that, that you ate? The last thing that I ate? Yep. I had some Cajun chicken pasta. Ooh, now, did you make it? No, my mom's friend made it. Oh, okay. And poop really poop you. My name is KJ, and the last thing I'd eat was cottage cheese and a ham sandwich. Wow, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I am known for eating the same thing for lunch, uh, and I, I don't care what you think of it. Uh, also <laughs> joining us, poop poop you. Say hello to Voice Guy Patches. Hello to Voice Guy Patches. What was the last thing you had to eat? The last thing I had to eat was Taco Bell. Ta- you had Taco uh, Bell today? I had Taco Bell today. What's on the uh, menu for tonight before we get into Marvel Phase 4 and crying about Mr. Rogers? Uh, I believe, uh, did, well, it's up to you. You can either do tacos or Totino's party pizzas. Well, you had tacos for lunch. <laughs> I'm not going to make you have tacos for dinner. Hey, you know what? Tacos never get old. All right. Wow. That's uh, true. I do uh, like a good taco. We want to welcome everybody who is here for their first kind of nerdy night out. We are the kind of nerdy girls. There's usually more of us, but <laughs> Katie is a gamer, so she doesn't leave her house very often. That's true. And uh, I don't know. I think Kitsy, Kitsy's our paranormal investigator, so she's off hunting ghosts. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly where <laughs> she is. Stuck with me tonight. <laughs> so Sorry. We're, stuck with, we're stuck with our voice guy, the kind of nerdy dude. Oh, yeah. Patches. <laughs> What's some of your favorite nerddom things? Uh, obviously, Doctor Who. Obviously, yes, Doctor obviously Who. Doctor Who, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, some of the DC. Uh, um, you're, some of it. What DC? Wonder Woman. Oh, loved okay, it. Shazam. Okay, okay, loved right, it. Right. I was okay. about to like be like, get out of my house. I honestly feel like those shouldn't count <laughs> I like as DC's DC movies. Legends of Tomorrow. What? Oh, the, oh, yeah. yeah. See, think about the CW here. That, yeah, when yeah. you say DC, I immediately go to movies. I've got such a <laughs> negative mind. I oh, should go to like, DC too. TV cool. is great. <laughs> but instead I go to DC movies are terrible. They are, yeah. though. Uh, except for Wonder Woman and Shazam. Yes. And Shazam, yeah. They need to get on Shazam, too, because that kid is growing. I saw, uh, I stalk him. I don't mean to. It's weird now because we did that panel together at PopCon. And for some reason, Instagram and Twitter are like, hey, here's your latest update from Asher Angel. Like, I'm old enough to be his mother. Will you stop sending me stuff? It's, it's getting creepy. That's amazing. Uh, but he was, I'm so here for it. oh, he was at uh, San Diego Comic Con oh. over the weekend. So I kept getting updates about, his latest tweets, and I was like, hey, this, this guy's grown up. We got to get know. on this. They grow up so fast. Yeah. So proud of him. <laughs> then I got Riverdale. I got, oh, uh, that, that's a good nerddom uh, thing for me. Oh Riverdale is uh, one of your nerddoms. It is. Oh, my it God. Is. Did you finish it yet? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm about oh uh, two-thirds of the way through season three. I need you to text me when you finish. Okay. Okay. See, I... It's so important. I, I was apprehensive because I started watching season three after Luke Perry passed away. So I was, oh I was apprehensive to, to even do that to begin with, but now, now I'm two-thirds of the way in. It's oh. okay. He's not in it that it's, much. It's no, not going to be that I, bad. I have it. Still hurts when you see him though. Oh, I, oh yeah, oh. it's terrible. Yeah, I haven't been back to it. Oh, it's That's so it. good though. My husband, Mr. Voice Guy, is way ahead of me, and in, in Riverdale, he he loves hey, Riverdale so much. You're ahead of me so and much. Jessica Jones. I don't want to hear it. I'm, I'm a half an episode Ooh. ahead of you, Jessica Jones. <laughs> uh, he loves Riverdale so much. He has a Riverdale belt. That is quality, yeah. right? Oh, now I'm wearing my Hufflepuff uh, belt Huffle tonight. Huffle 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 yeah, so today. like, and that, that's another one of my nerdy things. I like, uh, I like uh, fun socks, and I collect the seatbelt buckle belts that have like the loud seatbelt. You know, like Ooh. I've got a couple Harry Potters. I got a bunch of Doctor Who's, Captain America. That's really you know, nerdy. Like, yeah, he wore one of his nerdy belts when he officiated our nephew's wedding that a couple great. weeks ago. Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> yeah. god. Oh, just a pimped out three piece <laughs> and a sea buckle belt. With a nerdy it was awesome. belt. Uh, Represent. So uh, let's talk. For, I, I thought for sure that the first thing we'd be talking about is all the Marvel stuff. But man, that's so two days ago. Literally. Uh, d- did you see the. Well, yeah, you did. You're yeah. the one that tweeted about I it, tweeted Jana. it. Miss the Mr. Rogers trailer. I was literally. It's a beautiful day. Hiding in the bathroom at work. Um, and it popped up on my Twitter and it was like official Mr. Rogers trailer. And I was like, what is this? And I'm like in the bathroom, like crying, watching this trailer. I'm like, oh my God, he looks so good. And Tom Hanks is just like 
the perfect person to play Mr. Rogers. He is perfect to play him. And I'm literally so excited about this. Like, I went out and told my boss about it. I was like, so guess what just dropped? <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to take a breath. Oh, my God. I was, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm very excited about Mr. Rogers. Good. I love it. I love uh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, I think uh, it's almost weird how much Tom Hanks is... Uh, it yeah. morphed into Mr. Rogers. Yeah. If you would have said to me at some point, like, oh, hi, our Wish family's here. Hi, guys. Welcome to the party. Uh, Patches, will you give, their tickets yes. are attached to the, uh, will, you, will you take care of our VIP Make-A-Wish guests? Uh, Absolutely, joining, that's what I do. Joining us tonight is uh, Wish Kid Edward Woo. and his entire family. Is Grandma here, too? The gra- Everyone's here. Hi. The whole family's here. Uh, if you have followed along with our podcast, we granted Edward's wish last year. It was one of our kind and nerdy wishes. He's a big Fortnite player, and he got to go meet Goofy, <laughs> which was fantastic. So I don't want to talk about it. It makes me cry uh, every time I think about and it. And now, because I am uh, uh, officially working for Make-A-Wish. We're going to grant even more wishes. All the wishes. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, So, uh, yeah, so Mr. Rogers, I really, if you had said to me, um, you know, Tom Hanks and Mr. Rogers look a lot alike, I wouldn't have seen it. But then today I was like, yep. (laughs) Yep, they they sure do. He was born to play Mr. Rogers. He was. That's what I'm saying. I think Tom Hanks was born to play everything. That's true. I feel that like is true. Uh, I mean, I, I can't think of a bad Tom Hanks movie. Yeah. Like, start going through them. Even Joe versus the Volcano, as corny as that was, it was a really fun movie. I didn't movie. even know that that movie was a thing. So I oh, yeah. It's a, okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, he and Meg Ryan are in it. It's pretty fun. Him and Meg Ryan do, I feel like, do a lot of movies together. They did. Like, they did. I mean, I don't think they have recently. No, not recently. I mean, Meg Ryan doesn't do a whole lot of acting anymore. Well, maybe Tom Hanks doesn't approve of her John Mellencamp choices. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe not. But they did. You've got mail. I can't do any more rom coms with you. That movie is so long. You've got mail. Like, I never seen it. Oh, it's so good. It's like I, back when AOL was a thing. Oh, my <laughs> like gosh, with, that's right. With, like, the dial-up yeah, internet, when it like, was, the online chats. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's oh what it gosh. was. I have not seen that. I, I never saw Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, my God, it was so good. Uh, I believe you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hey, everybody that's here for our kind of nerdy night out, the pizza is here. Yay! We've got a little pizza appetizer buffet that you are welcome to partake in. Please uh, eat the pizza. Movie time is 7.30, so you can get... Uh, They got a full menu. Once you get inside the theater, you can uh, go ahead and order dinner. I highly recommend ordering the brownie for dessert. Oh, yeah. Because it's really good. The cookie and the brownie and the ice cream. and it's it's So don't get any actual food. Just get dessert. That pizza smells really good tonight. It does. Maybe you guys should get pizza for dinner. Uh, Maybe we should. or, Or maybe... Maybe we'll grab a piece off of the appetizer buffet, and then we'll eat a brownie for dinner. Ooh. Right? That sounds like a plan. Then we wouldn't have to worry about you making tacos when we get home. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whatever you want. Um, It's a win-win for everyone. Do you think uh, we'll get to know the people behind um, the the puppets in the Mr. Rogers movie? Uh, Probably. I feel like. Here's the thing. I don't don't want to. (laughs) I don't want to know that there were people. I want to believe that everybody in the land of make believe was actually real. Well, it is the land of make believe. No, but so, I don't I want mean, to like I don't want to see you know, the, the the person behind. I mean, you might see him like voice. a glance at them, but I don't. I mean, the movie's more about like this guy who interviewed Mister Rogers, I guess, and like how they became like bros. I guess I don't know. It seemed, <laughs> it seemed like a very bromance type movie, is what the feeling I got from it. Because the guy's like, "Oh, I'm gonna interview Mister Rogers," and then they're like best friends like throughout the whole trailer. And I'm like, "Okay." I did so. like in the trailer when the the uh, appears to be like the wife or girlfriend or uh-huh. whatever is like, "Do not ruin my childhood." Oh yeah, I was like, "Oh, me too. Don't ruin I it." I am with you right there. <laughs> Do not ruin my childhood. Uh, so we'll have to do a kind of nerdy night out for Mr. Rogers. Oh, yeah. I didn't have that. I will be here for it. You know what? I watched the trailer today. I didn't catch one. When, when is it out this year? Oh, my God. That is such a good question. Because I watched the trailer, too, and I didn't pay attention to when it came out. This is why we're kind of <laughs> nerdy. But I'm going to look it up. 
Mr. All right, you look it up, uh, oh, and no. I am going to give you a few headlines. I mean, there's so much stuff that happened out of um, San Diego Comic Con. Oh my god, still so much stuff happened that I don't know. Like we can't even cover it all. I mean, just the Marvel stuff alone is like whoa. And then you have the the trailer dropped for Star Trek Picard. Which oh, so lo- excited! Looks about fabulous. That. So was it was it a full trailer for it? Because I've seen the teaser, like you know, through the vineyard and stuff like that, and they show the the Picard you know label on you know on the on the bottle and stuff. But um, it's a little. I it's it's it yeah, was it's more than more, that. Okay. I would say it's probably full. I mean, it's not super long, but I would call it a full trailer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Let okay, this perfect. girl have a mic. Yes, give her. Hey, she's trying um, to talk on our podcast. I'm a nerdy girl. All right, poop, 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 you. Please introduce yourself. Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erina Miller. And Erina, you have to give us a fun fact about yourself. Oh my! What's your favorite nerddom? What's my favorite what? Your favorite nerddom. Like you can only oh. watch one, like one TV show, one movie, one thing for the rest. Doctor of your life. Who. Doctor Who. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Surrounded by you, Whovians. <laughs> don't know what to do. I unfortunately haven't seen the newest season. You haven't? I haven't because oh. we got rid of we got rid of cable and it hasn't come on Amazon Prime yet for oh, me to I watch know. it. It so. makes me so mad because you know I I watch some form of Doctor Who every single day. Yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but they put so instead of like starting with season one and going in order, they have. Her season, was it season 11? Uh huh. Is the first thing you see. And so every day I check. And I'm like, it's still yes. not free. Yeah. Just quit putting it in front of me. And, to, <laughs> and until I can watch it with Prime Video for free, yeah. quit dangling it in yes. front of me. I feel the same way. I keep waiting. So, yes. You yeah. check it uh, every day. I watch Doctor Who every day, Jonna. Okay, whatever. We've talked about this. It's my show to go to sleep. Yeah, now, I know, I'm, not gonna, not, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been. It. I've been that's really, really sleep. close to buying the season, even I though know. because the new season's not coming out till 2020. Uh, so I I, I'm like, wow. I don't, I don't know because they typically release it right before the season comes out. They did, and it's not till 2020. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I could wait that long because Jodie Whittaker. I'm going to tell you right now, she was amazing. amazing. She was She's absolutely brilliant. amazing. Yeah, amazing. Broadchurch. Yeah. Oh, did you yes. see her in Broadchurch? Yes. We didn't watch Broadchurch. It's, it's very good. Of course, David Tennant's in it. Yeah. But <laughs> Are you watching uh, Good Omens? I did watch that, yeah. Uh, okay. We, we actually not, both really liked we're it. We're not so. done with it. You liked it too? Paul, yeah. 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 Oh, you read the book? Uh, it's, I'm going to make you sound old. It's been out that long. <laughs> <laughs> well. I read the book in high school. Wow, I mean, he old. was born in the 70s, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't realize that the book had been around a long time. Yeah. So, that's cool. So, yeah. So, was it uh, uh, pretty true to the book? <laughs> oh my gosh she, uh, David Tennant is he's so fun at being bad. yeah but what's funny I found that, that his character almost was like the doctor but with a bad twist to it yes. like as far as the same energy yeah and the way he talked felt very I agree the doctor but just in, in more not evil, I guess. The, his character even wasn't evil. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But it, uh, did you watch Jessica Jones? Yes, I'm. Well, I'm ha- halfway through season two right now. Okay, so, so yeah, but I've seen season I, one. He's very different in oh, Jessica yes. Jones. You're yes. like, Ugh. he's not. That yeah. is not the he's doctor. He's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, as soon as I know, because I check every day. <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, let God. you know when <laughs> Doctor Who is available on Amazon yes. Prime for free. That's I know. hilarious. Because we're not paying for it. I did hear, uh, I, I don't think they've confirmed it yet, but there was a rumor that we're going to be getting some sort of holiday episode. Oh, Maybe I not thought they Christmas, got rid of those. Well, I thought they said they weren't going to do it. Remember uh, last year they did the New Year's Day episode? Okay, yeah. The, the rumor was that they're going to do maybe something similar to that. Oh, okay. They didn't say we were getting a Christmas episode. They, so but they maybe said that we might be getting Day. an episode before the end of the year. So maybe New Year's Eve. Maybe New Year's Eve. <laughs> I would take that. I mean, did you like the, it, it being on New Year's Day? John is so bored right now. I don't think. Was that this past, <laughs> like 2019? Is that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get to see that one. <laughs> So, oh my gosh! Yeah, we've okay. had, we haven't had cable in a oh, while. Oh yeah, watch so. any of it. Okay. Yeah, I did like it better, just because it's 
you have so much going on on Christmas, and then I always feel like I, I feel bad because all day I'm like, yeah, whatever, Christmas. Doctor Who's going to be on today. Can we like, <laughs> let's get through the presents? And no, yeah. I'm not staying for dinner too because Doctor Who is going to be on. So it was kind of nice to chill on on New Year's Day and and watch the episode. Yeah. Then. So I would like if they if they did that. I wish I could just have BBC America and not have the rest of cable. <laughs> I, right? I know. That would Wouldn't be that nice. be nice? That was when I was like uh, trying to figure out uh, my last like renewal, and I was like, honestly, like. I just want some local channels. I know. And, and, and BBC. BBC. Right? That's it. <laughs> what, what package is that? That's I know, what I want. I know. Can I have an all a cart, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. Well, th- I think that's probably enough Doctor Who talk because John is falling asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we were talking about the Picard trailer. Uh, that's yes. right. Yeah. yeah so. the, the Picard trailer. Is it yeah. Star Trek? I think. Star Trek. Yeah. Oh, this is another thing Jada doesn't care about. <laughs> I, like pa- I like Patrick Stewart, though. Do you? I, oh, my God. Now, what do you I like Patrick, Patrick Stewart from? Um, it's going to sound, <laughs> uh-uh. sound like super. It's going to, because I'm not like a, I like him in American Dad. Cause he's, American Dad? Yeah. The, the cartoon? Yeah. He, he voices one of the characters on American Dad. Okay. And, and his, character, his character looks just like him. Oh, really? As soon as I saw his character, I was like, that's that's Patrick Stewart. And then I heard his voice, and I was like, no, it's literally him. Okay, that's all cool. Right, all right. So would you consider watching Star Trek Picard because you like Patrick Stewart? Is Patrick Stewart going to be in it? Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, like, because he's, like, because he's older. So, I mean, I don't know if it's, like, an Careful origin. Careful thrown around how old people are. I don't even know how old he is. I just know he's older. He's got, like, the the hair thing going on like where he's bald at the top and he's got this going on or he's been like that know. for like 30 years yes yeah. I'm just saying I don't think I remember him any I other way he oh, like, looks, like he looks older like he looks like he's probably like 60s I think he's something. probably like 70s I think he's 70s Let's Google yeah it. Yeah. I'm going to uh, What did you think of the trailer? I thought it was interesting I wish it were a movie yeah but I told him that I probably would pay for the CBS All Access to see it. I know. But I do I do find it I find it interesting that it, it seems like it's gonna be kind of his way back to himself. Yes. Um I, I kind of would like to see other people besides Data come yeah. in. Oh my god! Yeah, and maybe they, maybe they will. I don't maybe. know. Maybe they're gonna give us some surprises. Yeah. I actually, I'll th- I uh, just started Veronica Mars. The new season is out, Jada. Um, Remember last last episode? You okay. said something, and yes. you're like, I don't think it's out yet. Yeah, I started watching it last night. Is it out? Yeah. Oh. Quality. But they only said that there were gonna be three characters like that were definitely going to be back for it and last night I mean they weren't like major roles but you saw I saw like four or five people um also Patrick Stewart is 79 years old oh yeah yeah almost 80 then yeah and um Mr. Rogers movie comes out November 22nd of this year I want to see that okay we're gonna do a kind of nerdy night out for that oh yes I'm here for it all right so (laughs) we're gonna do a kind of nerdy night out for Mr. Rogers we're gonna consider getting the CBS app for (laughs) Picard so let's talk Marvel and you don't have to hang out with us if you don't want to. Right. <laughs> Do you, you, you can awkwardly bow out. Uh oh. Oh, she just wants to comment on the cheese oh. pizza. Oh, you want oh, you want to make yes, a comment about, about the, the pizza. pizza? Please do. And the cheese pizza was yummy. Oh, okay, the nice. cheese pizza was yummy. Good to we're, know. We're at Studio Movie Grill, <laughs> and the cheese pizza is yummy. <laughs> Thank you. Quote. Thank you. That's good to know. You've got the best glasses. When you when you get yeah. sick of those glasses, I think they'd fit my face. So you pass them on to me. <laughs> she definitely is a nerd in training, aren't you? That's yeah. the way awesome. it should be. That's how it she is. She loves Star Wars. Oh, nice. Yeah. So who did, hey, we went to, where did we go this summer? Disney World. Yeah. You Jealous. went to Disney World? Did oh you God. see a lot of Star Wars? Yeah, characters? we did. Who did you meet? We met Chewbacca, BB-8. Oh, my even, gosh. Even um, Darth Vader's. Oh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, Kylo Ren. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. That sounds That's dope. That's pretty cool. Was he was he nice Jealous. at Disney? Was Kyle Ren on his best was behavior? Kyle um, Ren, or what did he do? He like like when I said bye, he was like <laughs> <laughs> he pointed, told you to get out. Get out. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming to our kind of nerdy night out. You're yes. welcome. You're definitely a kind of nerdy girl in training. 
Your mom and yeah. dad are raising you right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> We're here for it. Uh, okay, so, John, go through huh? the Marvel stuff quick, because I want to get over and talk with Edward. I don't want to miss out on the chance to hang out with one of our wish kids. Okay, um, so... Enough with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Blade with Mahershala Ali... I'm excited that they're it's, bringing uh, uh, Blade back. Yeah, well, it doesn't give me a release date, so just Blade. Um, Black, oh, I have, I have all of that oh, stuff okay. on my phone. Um, Black Widow is going to be May 1st, 2020. So uh, Black Widow is the first movie. Yes. I think yeah. when I was looking at this, it doesn't seem like it's... Yeah. All right, grab a microphone if you want, Carl. I feel like you have things to say. Carl with popcorn. Welcome to the kind of nerdy He's girl. just going to hold and it And you got to put it to your I'm, mouth I'm, and use All you told me is just to it. grab it, so I just <laughs> grab it. Gosh. This hold, guy. Hold the uh, microphone and do not speak. That's all we need. I didn't feel like when I was looking at the, the full schedule that there's like a, 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 an ongoing theme. For... For the next phase, for phase four. It sounds like it's a lot of one-off movies. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the wrong person to help you with that one. <laughs> because, <laughs> because as one of my claim to fames with PopCon is I have not read a comic book ever in my life. And I think this is the, the next set is a whole lot of comic book. Yeah. Well, I mean, The Eternals, I really, I've had to read up on that. They sound very interesting. They sound super weird. What? I think that's going to be fun, God, but I don't know other. anything about it. And they're it. super powerful, too, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, they're, like, the most powerful. The most powerful. And there was, uh, this is when I get, like, super kind of nerdy. Oh, she's getting into it. There's some reference to one of the Eternals, like, they watch over different, like, planets and universes. They just kind of, like, watch us. They're they sound kind of creepy, honestly. Awkward. Okay. But their job is to, like, watch over, and there's a reference to one of them, like, Watching Planet Earth in okay. one of the in one of the Marvel movies, uh, Doc, the, Doctor Strange. Oh the my god! Title I'm so is excited about the new Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange Two in the, in the multiverse, multiverse of, of Madness. madness. And I'm so here for it. I'm so. Any here. thoughts on what that's going to mean? Well, again, haven't read Doctor Strange, but oh. no, we, just, we, I, we love the oh, you know what it we, is. we love the character. Yeah, and uh, he can control at least time. So do you think we'll get some uh, some the, cameos? The, well, the even in the most recent Spider-Man, they alluded to even though it didn't happen. Uh, spoilers, even though it didn't happen, <laughs> right? They uh, they did allude to the multiverse, which right. is a big deal in the Marvel and yeah. DC yes. canons, both of them. I was I was kind of mad during Spider-Man that they ruined that <laughs> because I was like no we want the multiverse because that gives us options to have all of our favorite characters well, still alive we have into maybe the in like another but right. you know another uh, universe but, I mean, into the spider verse like they talked about the multiverse too yeah. so like it kind of alluded but I think this is what it is I'm going to tell you okay, jo- this is my okay. prediction for all what right. the Doctor Strange movie is going to be it's time for Jonna's predictions it's going to be how Doctor Strange it's going to be funny because it's going to allude to a <laughs> podcast that we had before <laughs> oh god okay it's going to be Doctor Strange having to deal with Captain America ruining the timeline <laughs> That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. And, that, and that's the madness. Yes. Jonna is Captain America so ruined the mad. timeline. This so, is so And for I love Captain America. Hundreds and hundreds of episodes of hundreds. podcasting together. All Jonna has talked about is how Captain America is flawless. He's perfect. Oh, love She's of my She's gonna life. marry Chris Evans someday. I am. And now all you I talk am. about is how he ruined everything. Okay, but I still love Chris Evans. Like, don't get me wrong. It's You're just bitter. Ca- <laughs> I have no such thing. I'm not bitter <laughs> at all. He was all concurrent with himself. So was, right? So Captain America didn't do anything. It was no, Captain Rogers. Okay. Right. They're the same person. Nope. <laughs> Steve Rogers and Captain America. They don't act any different. Like, they're lit- they literally act the exact well, same. Well, Steve Rogers obviously didn't come in to help save any days. No, well, sure just, didn't. I mean, I'm just or, saying. Or we'd already know about it. Yeah. But we all, I mean, it's literally going to be how when they went back in time. No, for real. This is what it's going to be. When they went back in time and did all the, like, changing around of all the, like, stones and all of that stuff. Uh-huh. And then when he went back in time to marry Peggy. And now Doctor Strange has to deal with all the crap that happened with that. Wow. That's my prediction. I don't think that that's happening. Well, okay, you can say that, but I bet it's correct. Did but you it's cool. s- did you see the that viral video? Uh, it's not obviously not Chris Evans and uh, and Haley playing the roles, but it's Cap- it's Captain America and and Peggy Carter and what happened when he went back. 
No. And how he can't, he can't tell anyone about the future. So she's like sitting there reading the paper. And she's like, oh, JFK's going to be in Dallas oh, over yeah. the weekend. <laughs> He's like, oh. I haven't <laughs> seen the I haven't seen the videos, but I've seen like the memes, mm-hmm. and they're so funny. Oh, it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Black Widow is uh, the first movie of Phase Four of the MCU, May first to two thousand twenty. Then in the fall, we get Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then in November, The Eternals. So Falcon and Winter Soldier is going to be on the Disney app. So two movies next year and a show. Um, and then in 2021, we're going to get Hawkeye, the TV show. Mm-hmm. So excited, I guess. Do you know, um, oh, I'm asking I guess. Carl. I guess, no. <laughs> not really. Carl, you don't know. Patrick, don't know. you don't know. Uh, the, the Legend of the Ten Rings. Does anyone know what that? I don't know what that is. Anyone here know anything about the Legend of the Ten Rings? Okay. Anybody, anybody? Nobody? We're all kind of nerdy. All right, cool. All right. Well, we failed that. That's coming out in uh, February <laughs> that, of 2021. Is that Shang, Shang Li? Yes. Okay. You know anything about it? Uh, only, on, only from what little I know of the comics. Ooh, tell me. He's, he's just like the ultimate kung fu master. Okay. How dope. That's, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick summary. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that it extends beyond that. Maybe, <laughs> here for they, it. They may be a, it may be a superpower, but I don't know. okay. He's I'll, he's like Black Widow, but better. There, no, there's well, no. Is, such isn't that thing. what? Isn't that what Iron Fist is? Ooh. Ooh. What? I don't know. A, it's for a different demographic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What? I don't know, man. That's all I got. But it, yeah, I I didn't see a progression of these movies that made me think that, that there has to still be tie-ins to everything, right? I this feel is like our, they, they're not Phase leading four to isn't just a bunch of one-off movies that don't. Oh tie no, it's all going to be leading to something. Okay. Yeah, there's We're no. Probably just going to have to wait a really well, long time. Well, what's Wait, well, what is it going to lead to? It's going to it's going to lead to. I don't know. We don't have. Well, there's any there's another anymore, Avengers so. movie. No, there's not. Not in Phase Four, but I bet it's. I bet it all leads to one. You think so? Oh, yeah. oh do you think that's why? Like at, towards the end, we have a Hawkeye movie and then a Thor movie. Yeah. Do you think that oh, coming yeah. after that? There's a Hawkeye yeah, movie. John, don't you TV say show? anything bad. Oh my oh, god. Oh no, Hawkeye is gonna be. I'm sorry, oh, Hawkeye look, is going to be. I was like, why does he get a TV show and a movie? That's no, 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 not no, no, fair. No. He is gonna be on the Disney okay. app. It's Got a TV it. show. Got it. Okay. But right. they're doing that towards the end of Phase Four, so maybe the Hawkeye. Thing with the Thor thing is gonna tie <laughs> in to the whole thing. All the things are gonna happen, all and then the everything's just gonna, gonna be like happen. a whole thing. Right? Got it. We okay. like all the things. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Even yeah. IMDb says Shang Chi, the master of kung fu, and that's all <laughs> that's it says. It. <laughs> <laughs> now people are gonna think that that's where I got it. Now. I was like, <laughs> he like, was just googling no. that. <laughs> no, I was like, that is all that I do know, and now I Google it, and that's all that it's telling okay, me. Okay, well, that's all any of us know. Then that's great. Uh, all right, well, I think that we're going to uh, mingle here. We're at a kind of nerdy night out at Studio Movie Grill. We got a bunch of people going to see The Lion King tonight. Yay, Lion uh, King. Yes, so uh, keep up with us. If you uh, like PopCon or Kind of Nerdy on Facebook, you'll see the events as they pop up. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, at Kind of Nerdy Girls or at Indie PopCon, you'll also be able to keep up. And uh, is there anything else that we should know about PopCon right now, Carl? It's a year away. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Black Widow is out before PopCon. Where does PopCon fit into the MCU? It, PopCon will fit in right between Black Widow and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes. That okay. is true. That July is true. July 2020. Yes. All right. All oh, right. Goodness. Awesome. Thanks for listening. This has been the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast featuring the voice guy, Patches. I'm a better voice guy than you. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I've kind of taken You don't do over. super dope sound effects, okay? So, you like, don't. calm down. Carl from PopCon, say oh. something cool about yourself. Meow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> because we're going to go, go see The Lion King. We are. Yay. And you know, do you want to see cats? I never end no. this podcast. No. Okay, no Thank one wants God. to see cats. Uh, okay, then no. we're not going to put it on the schedule. No. Okay, all right. It, it takes good. a very special musical for me to care. Okay. Well, Cats is not one of those. We are no, gonna no, ask me what my favorite musical of all time is. What's what your is favorite it? musical of all time? South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. <laughs> Would oh that be your? It was even sec- Oscar nominated. It was. It was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it should have won for best song. Why didn't it? 
I don't remember what beat it out, but it Robin Williams. <laughs> but it should have won. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. The, the song that won was so unmemorable, but it uh, Robin Williams performed "Blame Canada." And it won an Emmy for his performance during the Oscars. It was that good. No way. Yeah. Wow. I did not know any of this. Yeah. You got to gotta Google that performance. Or YouTube it. I will. It's amazing. All right. Speaking and, of YouTube, we're on YouTube. We're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, CastBox, and kindofnerdygirls.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I love to make it weird at the end. <laughs>